Welcome back to the I Don't Have Time to Work podcast. My name is Luke, uh, and on this week's episode, uh, we actually get to meet the team. So we've started expanding um, the team. It's no longer just uh, Troy and myself, and obviously my little brother Nick, who does video editing. Um, but we've brought on 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 board a, a lovely gentleman by the name of AJ. Um, we kind of created his his role, um, and you get to find out a, bit, a little bit about that uh, later on. Um, and also, we've got Nick Hollands on board, who is uh, absolute Jedi master. When do or do not, there is no try. But when it comes to social media, he's been he helping me with my journey when it comes to um, the social media platform and how to like maximize my time and how to you know, uh, not overthink anything when it comes to the social media realm because it can be quite daunting. But Nick has just like a really good way of um, of kind of like knocking down all the barriers. Um, I also went on a road trip. Um, I went down and saw my brother. Um, he, he gave me some really wise words on, on why he's involved in this project. Also, I got a new toy, which I'm really, really excited to share with you guys. And I think it's going to up our game for this kind of stuff really like exponentially. So um, yeah, uh, first up, a bit of a road trip. So I've driven down the Central Coast today um, to catch up with my mum um, and her partner and also uh, to catch up with Nick. You guys remember Nick from uh, earlier episodes, my little brother, he's a barber. Um, and the reason I've come to see him is to make him, him, well, for him to make me look from this to this. Yeah, I'm still ugly as fuck, but at least I'm like clean, uh, I guess clean bearded now. Seeing Nick, um, always good catching up with him. Obviously, he's my little brother, one of my best friends. It's great having him on the team. Um, always love hearing all these creative ideas when it comes to like filming and, and editing and things like that. So yeah, it's good to have him part of the team. <laughs> your job interview to, to see if he's got the role. He thinks he's got the role. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. 
I just um, I, thought, I, I just moved I, here. I thought, I thought I just came in and drank coffee. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's basically <laughs> what drink we do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So welcome back to the I don't have time to work podcast. Uh, you with Luke, Troy, AJ. Hey, he's got yeah. it. Perfect. Awesome. Um, so this week on the podcast, we are going to be introducing the team um, as it as, as it is this week. We seem to be expanding um, yeah. quite quickly. You know, we've got a lot of a lot of cool things. My wife is involved now, which I like is kind of cool. I well, guess. Actually, but at the point of this going out, yeah, we're probably going to actually have. We probably should say welcome, Nick. Nick yeah, Williams, actually, cause, yes, absolutely. Because he'll actually be because we're filming this <laughs> as as he's been, as yeah. it is happening. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Nick will be a part of this video. I've just got to get get him to to. Yeah. Uh, Say hello to you guys. Hey guys, my name is Nick Collins, uh, and we are announcing via this video today uh, that I've joined with the I Don't Have Time to Work team. Uh, I'm super excited and stoked to be here joining with this project. Uh, it aligns perfectly with what I'm uh, doing. If you guys haven't met me before, my background is kind of uh, I'm a journalist and I work in social media strategy, uh, content production, all kinds of things. I've founded a whole string of sort of online magazines and radio shows over the years. Lots of things. Uh, my main gig at the moment is a thing called Decentralized Podcast, which you can find at Decent Pod on all the various social media channels. Uh, and through that, I'm sort of traveling around the world, interviewing founders uh, in the blockchain, crypto, and tech space, having some pretty far out conversations, right? So that's the main thing that I'm doing. And as part of that, uh, I quit my office job back in October and moved from Sydney up to Byron Bay uh, to kind of go after this lifestyle and shifted into kind of working as a consultant and a strategist and uh, working on my own projects and stuff. So obviously that fits pretty well with what I Don't Have Time to Work is all about. Um, and yeah, it's super cool to be collaborating with these guys, bringing value uh, through their socials and to their community. And it's going to be fun. Stay tuned. Um, there's a lot coming up. And for right now, we're doing some webinars on uh, how to hack social media for your own business or your own personal brand or whatever it is. Um, so we're freely sharing a bunch of information with you guys, which hopefully will be super actionable, help you to get traction uh, in whatever you're doing and a bunch of momentum on your own projects. And if we can do that, uh, we'll be stoked. So all good. I'll see you around. Guys, uh, Nick's a well of knowledge when it comes to social media. Um, and he's going to be helping out our community with um, some webinars and things like that. Um, just keep an eye on our, all our socials for that, all that kind of stuff to come out. Um, so I'm going to throw it over to AJ. I want you to introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to be within the I Don't Have Time to Work team. Yeah, sure. Uh, AJ. Uh, how did I come to be here? I, I guess, like a lot of people, the I gravitated don't, I, towards Troy's little <laughs> Do something a little bit fun, a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he did get a beard trimmed. As you can see, I've, I've got to work on my beard. And That's right. I don't quite it. fit in yet. Give, yeah, give me time. Give, give me time. A couple of months. Yeah, look, I, I've known Troy for for a little while, and and uh, the I don't have time to work kind of ethos. I think is is something that really is close to my heart. I, I'm a believer in. Uh, I think you know a lot of people struggle with having to do a job and we only live once so yeah. you know let's make it make it the best life we can possibly make it so I mean for me it's just let's jump on board uh, I want to be a part of this community and see see what we can do and how we can help people you know escape that that sort of nine to five and, and yeah. live the best life that they can that that's that's something close Definitely. to mine so fuck yeah it's really really good having you on board you know yeah. I've been staring at this ugly mug for the last kind of I'm loving it sure yeah <laughs> Cool. Well, yeah, no, it's really no, it's good, good man. Board. Yeah. It's, been, it's been good. It's going to be. It's it's just really good to have different perspectives and different bouncings off people. And uh, um, yeah, like what what I what I love about what we're doing is that like when it was formed in my head two years ago, like as as each thing happens and as things happen and people just jump on and we just create new things and do new things. I just like how like it just happens. Like yeah. there's no fucking process. Like we all have business knowledge but there's no like actual this is what we do and then we're going to do this and then we're going to do that like this year has like transformed in like 15 different ways and yeah. there's some crazy things that are happening 
and are going to happen and, and it's just kind of like, it's just really cool how that works. Yeah. I love how the universe works. It's like the Tarzan theory. You've, you've got Tarzan. <laughs> Right? He's on the tree and that's his goal. He's not actually going to go in a straight line to get to his goal. He's going to go like this. The Tarzan theory. I fucking Never heard love that. that. Heard I that literally thought you were about to go, that's Tarzan and there's Jane. How yeah, long yeah, that's right. That? Well, Jane, about Jane, to do that. Jane, yeah. But that, that's the way it works. You never know, like, it, 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 especially startups, they're quite malleable, you mm. know, like the, the idea will change and like we'll be able to like. But I think what's, I, what's great about this and if anyone's listening in is, is <laughs> like I say, if anyone's listening in, We've our got thousands, our of, thousands people. of people who are listening in yeah. right now, like, don't, don't just put yourself out to dry. Like, make sure mm. nothing gets done. Like, I, I'm a firm believer of this. You've got to have a team. Like, yeah. you just got to have people around you that you can bounce things off. And you get so much more things done, like, in a team as opposed to just trying to just do it all yourself. And, yeah, like, network and just fucking get yourself out there. You're going to hear him say network a lot. Network. Yeah, network. it's going to be network. like, that's the buzzword, bur like, burnt into your brain. So, we'll move on to Troy. I know that you, we've had you on, like, you've obviously been on the podcast and we've had a bit of an intro episode. But mm. in case anyone hasn't really... Um, Really gone back into the archive and watched that. Well, we'll listen to it. Really. I know. But I mean, those first few were just brilliant. <laughs> we were like, that was yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. We, it was all downhill from there. Um, so introduce yourself and tell us how you came up with the idea cool. of I don't have time to work ethos. Yeah. So my name's Troy. Um, basically, uh, so the idea was formed in my head like uh, probably a while ago. But the actual I don't have time to work name was formed in my head about two years ago um where like i was going in between jobs and i was doing different shit and it was funny we were literally just before we hit the camera at a roll this morning we literally said like that we worked out the longest we've actually any of us has been actually in the same role of a job was like 12 or 18 months like maximum yeah and like literally i was just doing the merry-go-round thing like working for some really cool companies and really good people and i work with some amazing people but just I just don't I just it's just not me like I just can't do it like you get these people like um who like do the same drill the same thing for like 20 25 years and like that would literally like that would be like just put me in jail like for 25 years because that's what it would feel like for yeah. me so um it's kind of like yeah that and then I'm like in a, in Australia so if anyone's listening overseas the, the word work over here in Australia, it's kind of like going to work. So you're kind of like going to work for the man or whatever, nine to five. And I'm like, I don't have time for this shit. Like, I don't have time to fucking go and work for work for some guy and line some up someone else's pockets and kind of like work for some company or government or organisation. Like, I can do it myself. And, and and I'm just like, I don't have time to work. Like, and then it just clicked in my head. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to go buy that domain name because I'm going to do that. And then... um. I've been doing a lot of different things over the years and some investments and other things and it's given me the opportunity to be able to just really, you know, balls out 2018 this year and like actually like really focus on this and get Luke on board to kind of like help project the idea into the social media world and just get it out there and like just, I mean, we've only been going four months but just the connections and stuff we've formed already and just the community we're building has been brilliant and, uh, yeah, and we're working on a lot of side hustles outside of this, but it's really cool. This is kind of like my my baby that I love. Yeah, I love my my baby. <laughs> well, I'll uh, I'll introduce myself. Uh, oh I'm, yeah, tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, tell, I'm, 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 you? Seeing that you guys <laughs> asked so nicely. Yeah. Um, my name is Luke. Uh, I'm 31. Pisces. I like long walks on the beach and listening to death metal. That's um, not true. The long walk on the beach part. No, I, I like going to the beach. I don't like walking much, yeah. as you can see, tell by my amazing <laughs> physique for those that are all watching and not listening. Um, so yeah, I, I was the I was the perfect poster child for the eighteen months at a job. I would get into a job and mm -hmm. be like, the grass is greener where I'm going. Oh, everything's going to be fine once I get that job. Once I get this job. Once I move here. Once I do that. And then you get eighteen months in, and I'd be like, I fucking hate this. This sucks. <laughs> like. I don't, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care about like any of this stuff. I don't. It does. It doesn't like. 
it doesn't resonate properly in my brain. And when um, this handsome son of a bitch came to me at our last job that we worked together, um, yeah, I'm talk, not <laughs> talk about you. Um, he put in my brain a an idea for a creative agency, a, a social media community, a uh, podcast, uh, basically a multi multi armed, multi faceted business that really didn't earn any money. Yeah, which is like it was fucking sick. It, it literally was, was like completely <laughs> against every single business model that I've ever done. So. Like, the crazy thing about I don't have time to work is that, like, it's literally, so, and, like, if you pull out Business 101, mm. it's, like, the opposite yep. <laughs> of that. Definitely. But it was about a passion thing, and, and, and out of passion, opportunities happen, and out of opportunities, um, you know, more than more often than not, um, income and the rest of it flows, which, which it just happens because that's just how it is. The universe is aligned if you're following your passion. 100%. The amount of like um, knowledge and skills that I've made over the last four months of just being in here, like grinding on all this different stuff has been phenomenal. Like I've learned mm. more in the last four months than I have in the last four years easily mm. because I've just been, like Troy's just given me complete autonomy when it comes to social media, editing, filming, all that kind of stuff. And he's just gone here, run with it, and I have, and, and yeah, we're now starting to expand and getting more well, team members and things like that. I wrote, so. I wrote a blog about this, but um, which you hadn't been following us, you would have read, but yeah. um, link will be in the description. I use the word time, and and time is such a huge thing, and and as I said, I don't have time to work because when you give yourself time to actually think and actually get inside your own head, and I know we talked about this. Is like shit just happens yeah. because like when you're going and working for the man and you're doing shit and you're just like fuck whatever and then you get home and you're just like fuck this I just want to have a beer and then you you know you do stuff with your kids or your wife or whatever you may be doing you know have a jerk off if you're by yourself whatever <laughs> and then then you just go and then it's the next day and and, and that's it but it's like like time if you give yourself time and and if you can create op- uh, like I said before, time um, gives you opportunity, which then opens up a plethora of lots of different different yeah. things. It's just giving yourself time to think about yeah. it. So if if you're in that job and you're fucking slamming it, you can't get out of it. Well, what is that shit that you're doing on the side? Like, give yourself time in that, so then you can start mm-hmm. thinking about shit and, and and having to think about what can I do to break this cycle. Yeah. What um what has actually like started fucking with my brain is so this is my main priority. At the moment, I don't have time to work. I'm. This is essentially my job, okay? And now what's happened is Troy and I have been talking to each other and teaching each other different methods and things like that. I'm all about, like, making sure that you've got enough rest, and he's all like, you make sure that you fucking work every hour that you're awake, <laughs> which is great. And what's happening now is, like, we're trying to we're, – we're sharing that between yeah. each other. And now I'm working on this, but I've got, like, 15 different things on the side – as soon as I get home, I open my laptop and I start working on something else. I'm still watching a movie and I'm still hanging out with my wife, but I'm like, like I'm using that time not to just sit there and stare at Netflix and dribble into my beard and like, and then go to sleep at fucking three o'clock in the morning like I usually do. But I'm using those hours to fucking work on a passion project. It's not about it's not about it's not about how long you sleep. Like yeah. people are like, oh, I need eight hours sleep. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah. utilize the sixteen hours you're awake. That's hundred percent. Like to its fullest potential. Uh, we'll we'll yeah. speak about this as well. And I know that like we've been doing stuff outside of this, and you know, you, you've just got to. It's just about utilizing every minute that you're awake because you're never going to get that minute back. And and if what floats your boat is oh well, if that's the case, I'm out of here. No, I'm just like, just kidding. If what floats your boat is fucking, you know knitting then fucking do it and yep. then like just whatever whatever floats your boat like just just do that and, and focus on on your passion because with passion always comes you know opportunity absolutely definitely i'll share, I'll share a little bit of my perspective cool. on that because i'm not in the same part of the journey as what you guys are so <laughs> i'm listening mm. i'm still in a job i'm transitioning out of that and <laughs> you're, talking, you're, talking, you're talking you're yeah. talking about you're talking about time and, and actually been able to you know, put some energy and focus into, yeah. into something. 
it's it's that mental space as well. It's the it's the time to actually go get your head out of whatever it is you're doing. Like you say, you, you're in the grind every day. You're getting up early. You're getting home late. You know, you're just worrying about switching on the TV just to switch your brain off and having a beer, and and that's it. But you know, deep down, it's that's not that's not it. That's yeah. not going to make you happy. Um, how do you get out of that mind frame and say, okay, okay, I've got to get some energy, some mental energy, and some time. And you really got to create that. So that that was my decision to come in and just put myself in a creative space with with people who are, you know, on, on that sort of that, that wavelength. So I think that's important too. Like you said, you know, have have a team, build a team. You'll find like-minded people. Yeah, um, and it'll just happen. Sometimes you just got to put yourself out there. Also, don't be like on, on the flip side of that. Like if you start building a team and someone isn't working out, don't be afraid to call them. Like. And that, don't be afraid to have a conversation. Yeah, well, yeah have, well I'm, I'm way more brutal. I'm just like, nah. <laughs> no, but yeah, definitely have a conversation. And uh, that goes for friends as well. Like, if you've got people in your life that are holding you back and saying shit like, don't don't work late on the Friday afternoon, don't work on the passion, they come to the pub. Come to the, oh, I've got a lot of people in my life. <laughs> and I do, I, I fold into it a lot. You know, that's that's not a, that we're not telling people not to go to the pub. Yeah, yeah, no. It's of like course, of course we're not. Just utilize utilize that time. <laughs> AJ, AJ is, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, but you no, just utilize the time and find that happy medium that yeah. actually works for you. So I mean, if you're completely cool with working forty to sixty hours of some job that you don't really care about and going home, spending time with the kids, vegging out, and then like you know chatting to the wife, whatever, watching your favorite Netflix show and you're completely cool with that, then continue to do that. Yeah. We're not saying don't do that. It's for those people who, who have that kind of wire in their brain, that, like us, where it's like, I guess, 12 to 18 months in a job, and you're like, oh, I'm either going to kill myself or all the people here. Yeah. Like they're the two don't people. do that, by the way. Don't do that, by the way, no. And, but that's what I'm saying. Like we're, actually, we're actually helping society by you know, making less mass murders because that's kind of like <laughs> literally like... You, you, uh, it's it's yeah, yeah, like if anyone wants to take yeah. that literal go yeah. fucking eat a dick yeah. but like seriously like the thing is that's I'm not saying it is so hard <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually though I don't give a fuck like we're not like earning money off that we need to do a disclaimer yeah, like, <laughs> if you get offended by EAD or if by anything yeah that's right don't yeah. listen to this yeah no 100% like we're not here to tell people to do anything like no. that but we are if you're wired that way, lightly suggesting something. that if you want that out of life, it is possible, and you don't have to just go to that fucking shitty job at McDonald's or fucking wherever the fuck it is. You can go out and and pursue what you really want to do. Um, so a part of the questions that I've got for you guys today kind of rolls into um, what we were just talking about. Um, whoever wants to go first can go first. Um, when did you realize that you were an entrepreneur or wanted to live the entrepreneur? lifestyle and, and wanted to just say fuck the man i always wow. wanted to say, yeah. i always wanted to say fuck the man yeah. like from the my, from 1991 when i was like eight years old and i got it and, and i you know i think actually i think the oh, sorry the first time i heard rage against the machine yeah. was probably about 93 mm -hmm. i thought it was about 10 and and i'm just like oh my god <laughs> yeah <laughs> My life is fulfilled. It's funny because Rage Against the Machine was part of the reason that I went to Rebel as well. <laughs> it's just the best. But, I mean, apart from that, um, actually realising, you know what, actually, like, actually realising that I wanted to be, like, live the entrepreneur thing and have different projects and do my own thing and be my own boss it was, was actually, like, I learned that really late. Mm. Like, I actually, I was so programmed to just work jobs and if you didn't like that or you weren't getting fulfillment go to another job and then if you didn't like that you weren't getting fulfillment go to another job like i was so programmed into that for such a long period of time that i actually didn't know there was another option yeah i, I didn't i just didn't know like and and it, it's not you know I'm, I'm i'm not sitting here saying that oh i didn't have the balls to do it i literally didn't know yeah i, I just wasn't i don't know i just wasn't programmed that way and that's why I guess that's another part of the reason why we're doing this is because there's yeah. a lot of people out there that just think that there isn't an option. There that. isn't an option. But yeah, there 100% yeah. is. Like the internet, crazy the thing. internet has created, has like gotten rid of the divide. You can literally do anything, anything you want, basically. You can make films, you can mm. create music, you can write new, like you can do whatever you want. Like, Dude, there's people like, like no shit. So if you like eating, right? So there's people that actually are... Um, 
subscribe to channels where they watch people eat. Yeah, so let's say you crazy. like to yeah. eat. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is this is like legit. Yeah. This is legit. Yeah. Millions yeah. of subscribers. We'll, like we'll get some links. Play video games. Yeah. Play, play, play video games. Yeah. That's yeah. another thing. Don't forget to subscribe subscribe to our Twitch channel yeah. as well. So <laughs> we're not getting paid to play video games yet. No, not yet. But that yeah. may happen one yeah. day. Yeah. If you want to become an um, affiliate, let us know. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the thing is, um, yeah, it, it literally don't think that oh yeah my my thing people aren't going to want to do that or watch that or, or how like many people, people are on the planet? planet? A lot, seven, seven, seven billion. Seven billion. Is it? Yeah. So, so look, we eight billion we like, like to say that you are special, but you're not that special. You're not fucking special. If you're obsessed, <laughs> no one's special. <laughs> if you're obsessed with something, chances are there's someone else out there that are that is also equally as obsessed. But chances are they're actually more obsessed. And yeah. also, they're hungrier and want it more. Yeah. Like, how much do you actually want it? Yeah. Like, don't tell me you want it. Like, how much do you actually want it? Yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> say that to me all the time. You, yeah. He gets so angry with me. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> no, no, I walk in the not, door, he's like, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he's no like just, it just pisses me off when people are like, oh, I really like this. I really want to do this. And this is really good. I'm like, well, you obviously don't want it that much. Yeah. And they're like, no, fuck off, man. I, I really want it. this. So, well, obviously Stop not. Stop talking about it. And fucking you're not it. doing anything about it. I was like, oh, well, I don't really know how to do it. Okay, cool. So what have you learned about it? Like, what have you researched if you really want to do it? Fuck it. Everything you want to know about anything you want to know is literally in Google. Fucking everything. Yeah. Look, I, cha is it, I challenge anyone to bring to me something that is not on the internet. That's, I'm, I'm that's a good challenge. That's a good yeah. challenge, actually. Throw that out. Would you be willing to put money on it? Yeah. How yeah, much? fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. There 50 we go. Fifty bucks. If someone can can bring me something that I can't find on the internet. Okay, you've got to. We have to have parameters for this, so it can't be any smut or no, no, like. Like, come on, like you got to yeah. be within parameters. Okay, <laughs> within parameters. anything that you can learn to do. Um, anything okay, so you this can learn, a, teach. Um, what else? This episode that? will be up on Sunday night. Yeah. Um, and we'll give you seven days to get back to us. Um, you can email us at I don't have I don't have time to work at gmail.com or you can DM us on any of our socials. Yeah. Sorry, AJ, we have completely um, taken over the <laughs> question. Um, Sorry. So when did you Sorry, when did you realise that you wanted to um, kind of get out of the, the rat race and yeah, the rat race. and say fuck the man? Oh gee, since I left high school, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> since I started working. Your first no, look, I, in your first job. Like, I, it, seriously, it probably became it probably came out of necessity more than anything. So I left high school. Parents bought a business, and I was working, doing a traineeship, making a couple hundred bucks a week, doing work that I just wasn't interested in. Really, didn't want to do it. Mum and Dad bought a business. Yeah, they said, "Oh, do you want to be a driver, delivery driver? We work part time, and you'll make twice as much." Cool. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll do that for a bit of fun, and. You know, like a lot of people went into business, didn't really know what they were doing. Before I knew it, I was the one taking control of that business. Mm. And I just became obsessed with marketing, sales, you know, how to get the most out of out of your business, how to how to make money, you know, and, and we were running this business and, and I was, you know, putting things in place, you know, doing uh, promotions, going out talking to customers, and you're seeing, you know, what you do has an impact and all of a sudden Oh, we've taken our sales from from this much this month to the, to that much the next month, and it's like, wow, this is fun! Like, this is exciting. Yep, it was really cool, and, and um, so for me, you, you know, initially it was born out of that. To, you know, my parents they were they were struggling. I, to be brutally honest, they were, they were really struggling, and they they had some pretty poor results that, that when they first bought that business, and I'm like, shit, I've got to get in and help them. Yeah. Sure. Um, so it was reading books, it was going to seminars, it was getting coaching and just really dived in. And and that was a really fun experience for a while. Um, and then, you know, I've had failures since then, definitely. Yeah. Gone off my own, tried to do uh, other types of businesses. And, and eventually I fell back into, I was working in corporate, you know, multinational, doing what so many other people do. Do has got a shit on it. Yeah, yeah I know. It, 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 and now I think, think back and... It, like we were talking about before, you only I could only do a role for 12 to 18 months and start to get bored and start thinking, oh, I fucking hate this. Mm -hmm. This is really doing my head in. I'm ready to go. And then all of a sudden I'm doing another role. And you kind of repeat the pattern before you realize it's yeah. down the track. And 
Yeah, I'm ready to get back into that that uh, entrepreneurship, um, small business. Tell us uh, about tell us about the failure. How good were the failures? Mm. Tell us how. Good oh, they that was funny. You asked that. Fucking horrible. horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like, how good are they now? Yeah. And like, it's it's such an important thing. Yeah. Like, it is so important. Yeah. Like, yeah. um, I, I can't like you, and you'll see this all the time. Look anywhere, any channel, any entrepreneur. I'll tell you the same thing. The failure part is so fucking important. Mm. Um, and it's yeah. just key to look like the, the amount you you think at the time it's the worst thing that's ever happened but the amount that you learn from that like is insane and where it puts you in a place like when you when you look at it in retrospect you're like wow that's that's crazy I wouldn't know because I've never failed at anything so yeah right so anyway yeah that's what, definitely what I was going to ask you AJ like um, um, and I, I don't know if you feel the same way but I you know, I've been talking about on the last couple of episodes of the podcast um, where I am happy with my stress level that I have at the moment because it's my own stress. So yeah. if this fails, it's going to be my own failure. I'd rather fail at something that I have, like my failure, than fail at some shitty job that someone like or fucking whatever. That's uh, right. Would That's you? Right. Do you feel the same? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I think you've got to. Mm. You've, you've just got to. You've got to have those failures. I think you hear it, you know, from some of the best. Yep. Entrepreneurs around, you know, just fail, fail as quickly as you can. But yeah, get through it because the, the, the bigger the better. Every failure, <laughs> there's always there's always a learning, and you know, okay, well, I won't do it that way next time. Yeah, um, and I know how to approach that next time. So, h- how many times do you hear of people mm. drop out of school or they fail in one respect, or how many millionaires, billionaires have been and bankrupt? You know what I really. What I really dug about what you said before, AJ, was that you said you kind of like fell into it out of necessity, and you hear this quite a lot. Like, how often do you hear about like, um, well, me and AJ probably a bit more often, but with the football or soccer fans, like, you hear about like a South American kid that has nothing, that's completely impoverished, yeah. and it's like the only escape for this kid, or, or you hear about the, the African kids who make it big in Europe. The only escape for them is football. They know no other way. Like in soccer, that's the only way I can escape. And like my idol, whoever that is, get yeah. to a better life. And like when it's yeah. kind of necessity and it's like, okay, cool, you're either going to live like this or this, they're your two choices. You are going to work your absolute nuts off to try and get to this point. Mm. You know? And they're also not distracted by anything. They, no, they there's no distraction. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. That's right, focus, you know, focus is really important. When your back's to the wall and you've got no other option, mm. well then... You shouldn't be surprised what you can pull off. That's eh? right. <laughs> oh, yeah, comfy, comfy couch syndrome. Yeah. It's easy just to come home, sit at home, you know, comfy you make a bit of money every week, yeah, sit, on, sit on the couch and yeah. just enjoy enjoy yourself. But, yeah. You know, not really being fulfilled, knowing that, you know, you kind of, life's kind of slipping away a little bit. You need to... Yeah. It's not really that exciting. You've got to want to make it exciting. And yeah. And the best life you can possibly live. And I, I believe that working for yourself and, and doing your own passion, and, and it doesn't have to be about making you know tons of money. It's just about no, doing something that, that oh. really drives you and and uh, makes you want to get out of bed every day. Mm. That's that's to me. That's what it is. Like, yeah, it doesn't look like you want to do, but then sometimes you can't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't go out and murder someone. You know, you're like, yeah. oh, I really want to do that. No, no. But I'm totally really murdery today. Um, <laughs> I think it was because of a murder. Point. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Have we got much time? Yeah, we've got, we've got we're, tons we're, of time. Yeah, we're back on. I just we're back. Cool, yeah. and we're back. Yeah, we're back. Thanks for our sponsors. Uh, <laughs> Red, Red Bull, Red, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull and, 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 and Vans. Vans and Dan Jesus. Murphy's. Come and on, Dan Murphy's. Yeah, Dan Murphy's. Right. You know you want to get on board. Yeah, you know you do. Yeah, definitely. 100%. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, what is the this? This is my favorite question to ask people, especially when they're going into entrepreneurialism or they're just in a good job at the time. What's the worst job that you've ever had? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Worst job that I have ever had. Fuck. Um, there's been some bad ones, but I remember when I was like 17 or 18, I worked over a summer in a butcher shop as like just a bitch basically. Yeah. So like I literally was like carrying carcasses, like hanging them up, like fucking just cleaning meat and blood and guts and shit. 
Sounds like, like a death metal song, I love it. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, that was, a, that was, I literally lasted there, like, I remember thinking, I've just got to, like, I did it, like, for some money, and I'm like, fuck, I, I did it, I literally did the whole school holidays, and then mm. I'm just like, um, I, I remember, it was, like, funny, like, I'd, I'd left, and then I remember getting a phone call, because back then, this just shows how old I am, like, it's like, I didn't have a mobile anyway, but mobiles weren't really around anyway, but they rang and they left. He left a message on our answer machine at home and literally said, um, "Like, oh, Troy, like thinking about like you want to do an apprenticeship." And I literally just never like rang him back. Like, never <laughs> rang back. Never. I couldn't. I was just like, I think I nearly threw up when I heard the word. I'm yeah. like, I am not being at any. And kudos to all the butchers out there who may be listening. I don't know how you do it, but that's just that wasn't for me. But once again, that's the thing that people love. Like, they love doing that. Fuck, there's yeah. people that love ripping up a, uh, up a carcass and then, you know, that's good. I'm glad someone does, but, like, not for me, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My worst job was probably my first job working at a pizza pizza place. And one of the one of the things that they had to do or made you do was we go out to the roadway with the sign. Wobble boarding was cool. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Fuck all the oh, pieces. Dude, you're doing yeah. that for us. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So in, in the middle of summer, and they yes. had this gigantic I'm, I'm uh, suit. That you did that. You yeah. had to wear the suit. Yeah. It was a giant. Was it like a giant, giant domino? Uh, it was a domino. <laughs> but at least the only uh, thing with that, at least you dress up, people can't see who you are. But Is yeah, your head still that's, showing? That's true. No, it's not. Oh, well, no, that's it's not. Like you got it easy hot there. Hot as fuck. Hot as fuck in the middle of summer. Stand out in the main road, but at times you weren't wearing the suit, which was probably worse. Like, yeah, it so was definitely because people knew who you were. We're up the road from the high school. Yeah. You're out there. Oh, you know, yeah. yeah, how good's this? Yeah. Come and come and get a pizza. Teenagers would drive past and they'd throw hot dogs. Yeah. You know, ice creams. <laughs> you, you, it was probably me. It was probably me. You just get belted with it with <laughs> with some food. Someone threw a beer bottle at me once. It was. Oh, My father actually drove so past and held abuse at me. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dad. That's the best. That is so brutal. Yeah, kids, they drive past with talk. So. Again, phones weren't the big thing. They'd have an actual camcorder. Yeah. Oh, they'd yeah, play the yeah, drive yeah. past and they'd be throwing shit at me. Yeah. Yeah. And you just. <laughs> he was like, what am I doing? I'm, I'm getting uh, $6 an hour to do that. Yeah. Why am so, I doing yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, probably the worst job I've had. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I wish I went before you. Oh, <laughs> Great story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna say this job. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I just saw, saw your eyes <laughs> just die. That would be so funny if you did that. No, that would no. be hilarious. Um, Basically every job that I've had before this, for for some reason or another. The last job that I had with Troy um, before this was a government job. Um, it was probably the best job that I had before taking this job. Um, every job before that had it was just it was. Oh, that's just the uh, there's Queen Latifah next door to our studio. She's doing a recording. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. Queen Latifah hasn't been like relevant since like two thousand and one. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Cardi B's next door. Yeah. Um, Whatever. I would say that the probably <laughs> the worst job would have been one of the first jobs that I got. Like I was straight out of high school, and I got uh, paid cash in hand to uh, help. Oh, hang on, hang on. What is this? Is, can we say what this is? Oh, it's not a it's not a business. <laughs> it's all right. It was, it, there was this. Um, my mum knew, knew this dude. He was like a um, Oh, I drove down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally going to say you were peddling. You, right, you, right, you, right, right, right. right. you know what? Like my guy, my mum used this guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, what are you I got paid cash in hand. No. Um, <laughs> no, I got paid cash in hand to basically run cables for this IT company. Oh, yeah, right. It was it was fine it work, legit. you know. It was legit and stuff like that. And I worked my ass off for it was about three or four months out of high school. Um, and then it got to a point where he was paying me cash in hand. I'm like, all right, I want an apprenticeship. And then he was like, oh, yeah, I haven't done my taxes in five years, so um, <laughs> I can't offer you that. And I was just like, fuck. Because that's the, kind of the, the job that I wanted to go into. So that I reckon that was maybe not the you worst. Could have been the, like, you could have been like a – So, but didn't you say you liked it? Is that what you just said? I liked the money. Yeah. 
what's um what really like the reason that I say that it's the worst job is because it was my first job like that, mm. and it also showed me what it's like working for people that yeah, are dodgy. Because yeah. like I believe that ninety nine percent of corporations are, are dodgy. Um, no, no, I know. Uh, Major corporations and governments. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's the wrong meeting. Wrong, wrong episode. Can't believe you would think that. No, nah, yeah, governments, major organisations. Um, major corporations. Sw- what's going to come through the window and just drag me out soon? Um, yeah. So, like, that was like the first, like, rude awakening of like everyone's out to, for themselves, especially when it comes to like jobs and shit like that. And yeah, I was just like, I was seventeen or eighteen when I was out of high school and. My heart was broken, and then I went and got a job at Bilo, and then I was just like, this is it. Like, oh, Bilo. Yeah. And this is it. I'm just going to, like, work shitty oh, jobs right, until... Oh. You. Oh. Trying to fucking pour my heart out over you. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Don't get young. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, that was that was pretty bad. I was emotionally... You worked at Audi, though, for a bit. That must I have been good. Really, really like yeah, for Audi. Audi was Audi, Audi got all, the heads up on all the fucking mad specials as well. Yeah, and but the, on the flip side of that, <laughs> everyone that knew <laughs> that I worked yeah. Audi, I just get messages yeah, and like yeah. texts and phone hold, calls. Hold that in the morning. Yeah, hold yeah. that blowtorch for me, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I need that blowtorch. <laughs> You're only going to get five in. How many cheap tools have you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boxes. Uh, like I get phone calls from people. Oh, can you put aside a blowtorch? I'm like, what the fuck do you need a blowtorch for? Oh, I just need it. I just, just like, <laughs> you know, need that blowtorch. No, I, I what I love it. about Audi, you go in and there's like a washing machine, yeah, like, and then next to it's a trumpet, yeah, and then following that is like a, <laughs> and you can get your cat food, yeah, a, ke- a kilo of dog food <laughs> and yeah. a trumpet. It's yeah. just the best. Actually, Audi was probably within that that realm of retail. I think that was probably the easiest job that I ever had when it comes yeah, to because you're always fucking sitting down there. No, actually, it's the opposite. Like, oh, well, yeah, there's a lot of sitting down, but like, it was a it was a grueling job when it came yeah. to like after hours and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I enjoyed Aldi, especially because I was doing university at the time, so it was very flexible. Um, but yeah, cool. That's cool, man. So I thought, I thought you were going to say your favourite job was. Well, I, okay, so I selected my words. I, I selected my words. I said my favourite job you been making. Within the retail. Oh, actually, yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to say it. Suicidal, it. suicidal faults. <laughs> Jeremy working. I worked for Commonwealth Bank for almost two years. Please don't unfollow our podcast after you hear that. Please. Um, I've worked in, in banking government. I've worked for all the enemies. Um, and it got to the point where I was driving home and I was like, I shouldn't actually laugh because yeah, yeah no, it was a. This I mean, is I, I, we laugh at it now. <laughs> we like, laugh at right. it now, but um, he made it through this period. Yeah, so um, I was working in the credit card department, and our job was to sit on the phones for eight hours and literally just answer screaming people because they didn't pay their credit card bills, um, and it was our fault. And then and, they, and then they, offer them, but offer them, but, and then we would also like have to sell them. them. Yeah, they, we would have to sell them products, which was fucking. We crazy. understand you can't uh, pay this, but. <laughs> Yeah. How about how about we increase work? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how about we increase what our credit limit? Fix your problem. <laughs> really a band-aid for a bullet hole. Yeah, so I was drive, I would drive home and I'd be like, oh that looks like a good tree to, to drive into and um <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I know, I know you fuck up. No, I shouldn't oh, the only part I'm laughing at yeah. is that it's that it's like you know, they're the devil. That's they the only part I'm laughing really at. Are. But not just them, like all of them are the devil. They're just one of the devils. But the um, it's crazy. And, like, literally, like, I've actually spoken to, on a serious note, and I'm going to stop laughing now, I have, have actually spoken to other people who, who literally, like, no shit, have said that, you know, like, I've literally been driving to work or back from work and just thinking, you know what? I'll just fucking drive off this, you know, I'll just drive off this indictment yeah. and it'll be sweet, you know. If, if you're getting to a point in your life right. where it's more, it's, crazy. it's like you're willing to like have those thoughts firstly or even act on them, then it's time to really fucking oh, it's really pull, yourself out, pull not- yourself out of the fire. Like go and get a shitty job like elsewhere. If you're at a point where like you, if you're in like, Somewhere like Commonwealth Bank, especially because you feel like you're trapped there because you think this is the greatest job I'm ever going to have. I'm never going to be able to get better than this. Blah blah blah, and they kind of make you feel that way as well. It's yeah. like it's. I, I mean, know, all of them do. The same. Well, we're we're, 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 drop, we're yeah. dropping that. We're dropping that name. But I mean, at the end of the day, 
like a lot of major corporations and, and, and banking institutions and things like that mm. have different ways. But like, yeah, it's just like, look, you might be working with a Commonwealth Bank right now and you're completely cool with it and you're happy and you're, and you're living your life and you're loving it. That's great. I can guarantee that not. Yeah, well. We I know a lot of people would still work for them. I knew I shouldn't have bought up the subjects because I knew it was a touch. <laughs> Definitely hit them. Anyway, yeah. going back to our original question. <laughs> In oh the worst yeah, job I've ever had. That's, that's, <laughs> that, that, that'd be probably the probably the worst. Um, and look, if you're feeling any of those kind of feelings or anything like that, make, make sure that you get in contact with anyone that you love, or Beyond Blue, or um, Suicide Hotline, or anything like that. Just yeah, make sure absolutely. that you talk to someone before you do anything, because we want you a part of our community, and we don't want you to be stupid for something as stupid as a shitty fucking job, like the shitty Commonwealth Bank or bank, whatever, wherever the fuck it is. Sick. Cool. Absolutely. Let's go on. Let's end on a happy note. What's next for I Don't Have Time to Work? AJ, you've literally started a few weeks ago. So <laughs> tell, tell me, what's, what's next for I Don't Have Time to Work? You tell me. Uh, <laughs> I'm part of this journey. I'm trying to, trying to figure that Actually, out. Actually, you know what? I don't, think, I don't think we've touched on this, but what is, your, what is your role? What is your job description? Like, we haven't put a name to it because like we were choosing names for each other and we were like what yeah. do we be like <laughs> grand overlord chief, chief coffee guy chief, chief coffee, coffee guy. guy we actually do need a chief coffee guy so that's good <laughs> it's handy yeah look I think uh, so my background is in business you yeah. know it's more the, the nuts and the bolts of running a business you know the, the some of the day to day the grind the making things happen from one step to the next yeah and getting us to 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 a point yep. in time, or, or, or a target, or a goal, or what we're trying to achieve. So that's my background. That's some of my some of my skill set. You know, mm-hmm. Troy was mentioning to me before I came on board was yeah. it, trying to help just get a bit of bit more direction and and be yeah. able to provide the best sort of service or community and, and that we can. So mm-hmm. so that's what I'm hoping to. I dub the business manager. <laughs> business manager. There we go, <laughs> Troy. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, no, exactly what uh, AJ just said is that um, AJ comes with like a wealth of wealth of knowledge, um, business, entrepreneurial skills, heaps of stuff. Like he's going to be able to contribute and help so much to this community, and um, you know, there's going to be lots of things that he's going to be able to offer. And you know, you know, we, look, who knows what's going to happen? Like we, we like there's there's different courses. Like we're starting up the one for, that Nick's doing because Nick's jumped on board. Nick Holland's doing the social media. Um, fucking master class course, which is insane. Like the, shit, of, of the shit he that, if you register for it, the shit you're going to learn is just off the planet, just stuff you wouldn't think of. Um, and uh, look, I could honestly see AJ doing a similar thing. Like I could really see um, AJ being able to give some amazing content and some amazing information to people um, in regards to the business and and you know running your own thing and doing your own show and the kind of things that you need to know. Um, and look, like I said, like the business model of I don't have time to work is completely against any kind of traditional business model. And, um, you know, you hear people saying, you hear it all the time, like, oh, we're not here to, you know, take your money. Like, literally, like, we don't make any money. <laughs> we are not making money from this. Like, don't sit here thinking that these guys are fucking, okay, we're not making any money from this. So this is, this is like just something that we love doing. Like, it's literally the things that we do and, and things that come up and, you know, things that happen it's literally covering costs like we literally cover costs mm-hmm. um the time that we give and stuff is purely just passion for us it's just stuff that we love giving back to the community um who knows where the whole thing's going to take us but um like if the first four months is anything to judge by then the next four months and the preceding year is going to be like insane yeah, so 100%. um we'll just see what happens and i mean like the community is reaching out to us a lot and, um, uh, and um, you know, if you are listening in, you want to hear a bit more of the kind of inside information we share a bit more, there's actually a, a private group in the, on the Don't Have Time to Work page. So just click on that and join there. Um, yeah, and we're trying to give a lot more information, do a lot more things. And as things happen, like there's sometimes like I've literally been off the radar for the last few weeks just with um, personal stuff that's happened and also just with like my other business Ventures outside of this is just taking up so much time, and uh, yeah, so things like that are going to happen. But it's really good that Luke's like that mainstay there, and we get more people on board, like Nick, and then AJ's going to get involved. And so, 
Like we're just we're just about bringing value, and like if, if people are getting their kicks out of it and they're kicking goals, and it's awesome. Loving it. What's yeah. yeah. What's uh, look? I what love, about you, Luke? I love the fact that I get to wake up every day and create. As long as that continues to happen, which it will, because <laughs> um, <laughs> that's completely up to you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mate. That's exactly right. Um, <laughs> it's on your end. No, next, next for us is popcorn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, next, next for me within the I don't have time to work is uh, to, like community is to reach out to more people. Um, I want to talk to basically everyone about any ideas that they've got. I want to like point them in the like help them look at things because I'm on the internet all day. I literally like the only time that I'm not on the internet is when I'm filming this or I'm asleep. Basically, um, so I'm always finding really cool like articles, videos. I'm on YouTube all the time, um, and I want to share that with you guys. That's, that's what the that's group's important. really good for as yeah. well. It's like we kind of share stuff on there. Like you probably find like we've got a lot of like we do some funny memes and we do other stuff, which is cool, and some videos. We've yeah. done some skit videos. Get, a, get them in with sugar and then throw the salt at them. Yeah, but I mean, like the thing is that if people actually want to do want to take that extra step in the journey and then join the group yeah. on the Facebook page and we kind of like, there's a bit more kind of like nuts and bolts of shit yeah. that you can do. Yeah, it's a little um, bit more personal and stuff like that. And that's that's what we want to get into. We want our community to uh, grow. It literally only started a week and a half ago. Yeah. So don't go on there thinking, where the fuck is everything? Like <laughs> literally, like it's just started. We're adding people to it, but that's what it's going to be. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, cool. I'm. I'm. I'm very excited for the future of the. I, I don't have time to work team. I'm really glad that AJ's on on board, and I'm mm. really glad that uh, Troy's back from his personal, yeah, personal stuff. And um, I'm glad that Nick's on board. Nick's Nick Collins, and obviously Nick, my little brother. I'm really glad to have him on board, and I mm. can't wait to see what the future holds. I Dude, think we need we, a chip on the team. I was literally we we definitely oh, wow we equal, definitely equal opportunity. Uh, oh, that one. Absolutely, <laughs> and, and the thing is, like, I mean, and I've said this before, like, honestly, like this, and th and I'll stand by this until someone can can prove to me otherwise. You're gonna throw down another fifty? <laughs> oh yeah, why not? It's the best, honestly, the best uh, bosses or or um, uh, mentors or whatever you want to call it that I've ever had have all been ladies yeah. and. And they have so many more advantages than what, what us. I'm not saying that, don't get me wrong. I'm saying what I'm saying is so many more advantages so mentally. <laughs> mentally, I'm not saying they get advantages out there. The truth is that females in the workplace get a lot less advantages. But they have um, the advantage they have, like, is like literally, like, we can only do one thing at once <laughs> where they can do multi things mm -hmm. um, and all my best mentors, all my best bosses, all my best uh, people I've worked for, they've all been, all been ladies and uh, look, I'd love to get um, someone else on board and yeah, so, there um, might be someone listening. Yeah, Drop stay, us a DM, let us stay know. Stay tuned. Um, we'll, you don't get paid this. but you get lots of fun. You have lots of fun. Yeah, watch this space. Cool. All right, awesome. Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of I Don't Have Time to Work. Uh, you've been with Luke, Troy, and AJ. Um, yeah, that's it, basically. Anything yeah. else you guys want to? No, dude. Just like thanks, everyone, for thanks for yeah. yeah for the first few months, and it's been fun. And uh, it's only going to get bigger and better from here. It literally is. Yeah, yeah. Like we've got heaps of really good plan, like, big plans. Like got things going on, on the side. I'm always like trying to mm. put more money kind of into this and kind of just like keep it building and keep it going and, and, and as I said as long as like costs are covered and stuff then it'll it'll keep going so so if you're liking what you're seeing and you want to help us build the community make sure that you share our videos uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel hit the bell if you want to get uh, notifications when the videos come out um, also make sure that you tag as many people in all of our shit as possible because it really does help us out because um, it brings more people into the community um, thanks again and we'll see you guys next week so, peace. Hey guys, Luke here from I Don't Have Time to Work. I'm in the home office today. Um, I went out and purchased a pretty decent uh, toy yesterday um, and I just wanted to show you what I got. So here it is. That's right, I finally got my um, dream computer 
Um, I've been working with a 2012 uh, MacBook. Uh, it's been amazing, but um, you know, it's getting on. It's now 2018, it's time to upgrade. So here we go. This is the unboxing of my brand new iMac. I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, so I got the um, I got the 21.5 inch um, with Retina 4K display. Yeah, it seems to be like the the best out of the range that was available for the for the size that I wanted. I only wanted to go with the 21.5 um, inch instead of the 27 inch, um, just because I don't know. Like I, I think that it's a, a little bit of a, an easier like adjustment. You know, the the um, MacBook, the 2012 uh, MacBook Pro that I was using. Um, was a 13 13 inch screen so like I don't I don't think I need much bigger than that so just unboxing the, the keyboard now and it's got the mouse in there as well um, I'm used to using those mount these mount mice mouses whatever they're called because um, I use it for editing with the MacBook as well I've got I've actually got a, a standalone mouse that I, that I keep with me as well all right so that's that one I have absolutely no idea how to open this box, but I'm going to do it as carefully as possible because it's not a not a cheap machine. So bear with me. One eternity later. This week's episode was so fun to put together. Um, you know, I got to like hang out with my brother and I got to hang out with my mom. I got to ha hang out with AJ, the new guy. Um, Nick actually lives a couple of hours north from us, so um, I haven't physically been able to hang out with him, but it's been really, really good um, getting to know him over the last month while we've been working with him. And it's been, it's. I'm really happy that we got to announce um, that we, he was a part of the team. Um, now, I say it all the time, but I'm gonna say it again. Make sure that you follow us on all our social media platforms. Subscribe to our, our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our um, our Anchor podcast as well because um, that's really how, how this whole thing works. Um, thanks to the community that's already already gotten behind us. Um, we've actually started a, a, a Facebook group. Um, Troy did, did mention it before, but um, you know I just thought I'd, I'd let you guys know. If you are looking to, to get, get in and be a part of that group, just search I Don't Have Time to Work uh, group obviously. Um, yeah, thanks to the community. Really appreciate it. Now, next week on our podcast, we are going back to normal. We will be talking to business owners, entrepreneurs, creators, musicians, you know, that same thing that I always rattle off. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to like bringing you more episodes. Um, I've got that new toy now. So I've got some, some little editing, editing tricks that I've got up my sleeve. The 2012 um, MacBook is, it's probably going to go to the big computer store in the sky soon. But I've got the new Mac, so I'm really, really happy about that. And I hope to have some more episodes coming for you very, very shortly. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.